After spending a little time in Lake City, browsing the local general store and stocking up on a variety of snacks, we head out to tackle the last lug of the Alpine Loop. And no, that is not a Snickers I'm munching on. Okay, I guess it is. I'm busted. Heading west out of town on Country Road 20, Engineers Pass starts off flat and follows Henson Creek. This section is relatively busy with road traffic and is scattered with new and old structures. It doesn't take long before this amazing place starts to reveal its abundant opportunities to get outdoors and enjoy a little time in nature. Engineers Pass provides many recreational opportunities to see old mines, explore old ghost towns, angle for trout, stretch your legs on a hike, or spend time sitting around a campfire with friends. If you don't get in a hurry and pay attention, this place has some amazing treats to share along the way, like this waterfall hidden just off the road. Today was a little rainy, otherwise I might have been tempted to throw on a suit and brave the frigid waters. Cold therapy at its best. See this rock slide? Yeah. And then there's a little bit of grass and then there's bushes. He's in those little bushes right there and he was kind of... There he goes, there he is, there he is, there he is. They kind of stop back here for a little bit. Yeah. You guys look close. There's two different bears that we saw back that way on the yeah. back side. So just keep your eyes peeled. You may see them again. After a gradual climb, we finally got to the tree line and things really opened up. If you come too early in the year, the mountains can still be snow covered and the pass could potentially be closed. We arrived at the end of July and stayed through the beginning of August. Even after the record snowfalls this past year, the snow melted and the pass was open.
with Summit Inside, I begin running through my plan checklist of all the cool, awesome shots to capture with our cameras and drone. One step out of the vehicles with the lower temperatures, and that was all she wrote. Just like that, it was one quick shot, a bad sticker plant, and we were headed to warmer altitudes. Even though our time was limited in this panoramic wonderland, we were still taken in by the amazing views of all the mountain peaks in every direction. A quick study of this area it makes sense why they call this place the Swiss Alps of America.
While tackling the engineer's pass from the east, it was a slow, gradual climb to the summit. In contrast, the west side descent was relatively steep with many switchbacks until finally arriving at the Alpine Loop connector. With a quick glance of the area, you will see the landscape scatter with old mines waiting to be explored. When we started this trip, Andrew and his Rubicon, better known as the Yak, had three items on his bucket list for the trip. One, complete the Alpine Loop. Two, see a bear. And three, see a moose. Just like that, we completed all three bucket list items for Andrew. With the Alpine Loop complete, we set our sights on Overpass.